Hello guys, welcome to this video and this, it is time to turn our vampire the world into shadow the world. So to do that, all you need to do is get yourself camera. I've, at last I found it after three hours of staying here. I found it. I found myself a camera. Thank God. So here we go, we have our camera, and of course we're going to use it. I wish it doesn't disappear. There you go, our camera, and we're going to use this camera to get ourselves Shadow the World, okay? We need this Shadow the World, and we're gonna get it. So let's go and transform it and get ourselves Shadow the World. Oh my god, why is... White. Let's say, as you can see in my info, it's Shadow the World. It is actually Shadow the World, and take... Okay, guys, what? This is take it out. What? The sh oh! So he's actually not at my back. So he only shows himself if we're going to use him. So this is what Shadow of the World looks like. How about if I'm going to do this? The pose. He's not gonna do the pose. No. So this is what Shadow of the World looks like. Boom, boom. This is what the normal punch does. Going to the first ability, it is going to be the knife throw, which I did earlier. So all you need to do is go farther away since this is a range ability. Just click Q and boom, knife throw. That's what it does. Now going to the next one, it is going to be the uppercut. So all you need to do is click E, boom, it does this uppercut. And of course the next one, it is going to be clicking R. And this what, what this does is does tri triple hit. So that means it won't be just one hit, it will be like three hits. So let's go use this. One, two, three. And as you can see, it did some three hits. It really didn't, like, it didn't really push the enemy. It's just stand there. The enemy is just stand there. Next one is going to be T, and this one is another range ability. And what this does is it shoots laser, a uh, purple laser, from their eyes. So let's go and do this. Uh, click T. Okay, from our eyes. Oh, that was wrong. Sorry, sorry, that was wrong. I clicked Y. I was supposed to click T. Let's try it one more time. T, please work. Boom, as you can see, that was a laser beam. Awesome. The next one was the one you saw earlier, the flesh bud. So what this does is it creates flesh and then attack anyone from that. So if you click Y, boom, as you can see, create flesh. Kind of creepy, but that's just how it works. That's the why. So the next one is going to be kick. So it w it's not the pose. I really hate this. It's just a kick when you click G. I really wanted the pose, okay? I want a pose. So that's G, the kick. And the one is the world's hidden ability. So what this does is click F. And boom, as you can see, it's kind of like an instant, st an instant time stop for like two seconds. And then... Um, and then if you try to use the knives, which is the knife throw, if you click F plus uh, Q, th something might actually happen. <laughs> I really don't know what's going to happen, but it's something might happen. Like, I can't click F right now since it's going to like, pass cooldown, you know? So I have to go and skip to the next one. So the next one is going to be, did you really try to shoot me? So what this does is when you have H and somebody tries to hit you, that then you will be teleported at the back of the person's, uh, at the back of the enemy's, yeah, at the back of the enemy. That's it. If somebody, for example, this guy here, uh, I did that thingy, reading a book, and he attacks me in front of me, and like, at, no, at my back. Then he will come and, and then I will go at his back. You get it? So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna read a book. Okay, that's from example. And he comes and attacks me like that, attacks me, you know. Then I will be teleported over here at the other side if he tries to attack me, but not, nothing will happen. So the next one and the the next one is going to be teleportation. Yes, we can teleport. Wait, did it do it? Yeah, it did teleport us. See? We are here. Boom. We are here. Boom. 
see? It teleports. Nice one. The next one is going to be Blood Suck. And this is the last final ability this that this stand does. So what this does is of course just grabs your enemy and suck their health and of course put that health to you, the player who is owning that stand. So yeah, that's literally it for this video. If you're interested with the the leap, it doesn't actually do the leap, it, it does like a little dash. And of course, if you're going to do the block, this is what the block do, and you have to click X. And if you're going to try and do the roll, well, you can do the roll by clicking C. But the only thing that I'm interested for is where is... Oh, it's J. Okay, J is the pose for this one. Nice, that's what I need. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. If you liked this video, smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to me. But I don't recommend you to hit that notification bell because I just don't recommend it to you. So yeah guys, I hope you have a nice day and bye.